Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but uh, hopefully I'm back for good. Um, I'm with you again today for, an for another DIY. So today's project is going to be, I already made one, so I just wanted to show you what it's going to look like. So it's going to be one of these here. If you can see that. This one's silver, black, and onyx. So we're going to make one uh, black and uh, fuchsia pink. It's going to be pink. I'm going to do the same decor, but uh, in pink and black. So I hope you guys enjoy this. So what you're going to need is, of course, a mirror. So I take these mirrors. These are going to be your items. So I took this mirror at the Dollar Tree and uh, so you need one of these and then you need bamboo skews so I took the liberty of taking 24 bamboo skews and I painted them and I'm going to show you what I did so basically you take a wheel it's a geometry form that I take from online as you can see here and sometimes they would have like 12 and I would make 24. 24, uh, 32, and sometimes they're 12. So it all depends on what you're doing. So I took this and what you have to do is you have to take your, the back of your mirror. So basically what I do is I just put the form there and you have the 24 lines and you just do the 24 lines. You just, and what I do is I put the little green frog tape so it doesn't move. And I just take my ruler and I go all the way in the back. So you'll see here, this is basically what it looks like. You can see that? You see the lines? So basically this is what I do. And what I did is I painted the bamboo skews with the acrylic paint. Which goes really, really, really well. And then I wanted to show you the forms that I'm going to be using is the um, the plastic. You know those plates at the Dollar Tree? Uh, they're called like food platters more or less. It's just plastic. And this is what I do my pieces with. So you have the two sides of course. You either have, they have uh, platters, they have silver and they have gold. So it doesn't really matter what you're using because it's going to be in the back. And um, so what I did is I'm, I'm choosing the black on top and I'm doing the pink. But I'm going to show you exactly how I cut them and put them together. And the other is just going to be like beads and transparent large beads. The pink beads. I got the black beads. I got the marquees. So and then I have wood pieces so the wood pieces you get those at the Dollar Tree of course or us in, in Canada it's Dollarama so you get a little bag of uh, smaller bigger and bigger ones you could get round ones you could get them at Michaels so it's just a thin little piece of wood so what I do is I spray paint it I use the spray paint and it gives it a little nicer uh, color because if you do it just like that you'll see yellow on the bottom I don't know if you guys can see that but so it's much 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 nicer and what I did with these ones I didn't paint them pink under I just did the silver so basically I just painted silver inside it comes up nice either or so what I did is so I take the little uh, wood piece and then what I do is, instead of putting the glue on my rhinestone mesh, I just do it here. So I just put the glue here. And then I glue it. And voila. That's all it is. And the same thing with the plastic material. So what you do is, of course, you want to do the black, because that's what it's going to be, all the black little pieces. So what you do is you take the, the rhinestone mesh with this paint that I'm, cho I'm choosing today. So what you do is you, you cut five and five. So you go along the lines, you go five and five. 
And then what you do is you take your scissors and you cut just along the edge and it comes out to about three of them. Just a little triangle. And you do the same thing for every corner. So you cut three, three, and three. So it gives it that diamond shape. See the diamond shape? And all you do is, this time, I do put the glue on the rhinestone mesh. I just want to show you. And then what I do is I lay it out and I do it side to side. The little diamond mesh, I do it side to side so it's right in the middle. See that? It's right in the middle. So basically this is all you do. You take the rhinestone mesh and then you cut it and you put the pieces together. The same thing with the wood. And that's all I did. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to start and and of course you have the rhinestone mesh and what I do is I decorate all on top of the mirror all on top of the mirror here so basically it's it's a four and three so you cut four up and down and three horizontal so basically this is what you do four and three and I think I do 28 pieces I believe and what you do is just go around and you leave it just, I would say, half an inch um, of space in between. And basically it fits from the top of your, your uh, black cover here right to the end, which is wonderful. So I measured it in advance. So basically I'm just going to show you what it looks like at the beginning. you go so that's all you do and it goes fits perfect see that it fits perfect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do all around and I will see you when I'm done welcome back so basically this is what it looks like and I have 28 pieces all around and basically this is what it looks like it's coming out really 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 nice now my next step what I'm going to do is and I also forgot to mention earlier my bamboo skews that I did and I got 24 of them and you'll notice these ones here I measured them at nine inches the long ones and the short ones at four and a half. So these ones are nine and these are four and a half. So you go all around and basically, so you have a long short, long short, all the way around. See that? I should have mentioned that at the beginning. So now my next step, I'm going to uh, accessorize the long bamboo skews. And how I'm going to do that is, so, these ones I was telling you about, my diamond shape. So I have a smaller one and I had a I have a medium one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one uh, with a long one. This is going to be my long one. My bigger one is going to be right at, uh, at the end here. And these ones are going to be here. So before I do that, I'm going to glue these square pieces here so this is going to be on my long skew so I'm going to have this here I'm going to have a black little bead then I'm going to put a bigger one and then I'll have two little transparent beads right at the end of this and then I'll have the smaller one here and then after that, I'll have my marquees in the middle. And you will see that after. So what we're going to do is we're going to start gluing my square pieces. 
So I'm going to do that with all the uh, long skews. So what you want to do is you want to make the skew right under the tip of the square. So you have to make sure that you hold it because if not it's going to be all slanted. So you make sure that it's right smack in the middle and it's not bending because you don't want to do a decor that's all crooked. <laughs> See what it looks like? And I'm going to do this all around and I'll see you when I'm done. All right, welcome back everyone. So I finished the gluing the squares at the end of the skews. And basically this is what it looks like. You can see that? So, and by the way, it took me not even 10 minutes to glue all these things around the mirror and not even five minutes for this, for the squares. It doesn't take very, very long. Once the pieces are all cut, so basically it's the same thing with my diamond shape. I just took a geometry form and I basically just did a template on bigger ones. I have bigger ones and I'm gonna do another video on that also. And uh, I got big medium ones and I have smaller ones. So basically this is what you use. So now on the same skew as I'm going to use the big one, but before I use the big one, I have to do a little black bead. So the little black bead is going to be right at the tip of the square here. So right here I'm going to do the black bead. this and then I'm going to glue my bigger piece at the bottom here the smaller one goes on top so what I'm going to do is I'm putting the glue on this cue just makes it nice and easy So when you have excessive glue, you put the beads. So this is one piece. And then I will put the smaller piece at the edge. So you make sure the pointed is right in the middle of this cube. That's very important and it's very straight, as, as, as well balanced, I would say. And then what you have to do is I took these little small transparent beads. They're very, very, very tiny. So what you're going to do is you're going to put one at the edge of each tip of the diamond shape. And I will do that. It goes really, really fast. And then the last piece on the long skew is your Marquise transparent acrylic bead. So what you do is basically you just, by eye, you just put it in the middle of each two forms. So basically around here. And that too has got to be balanced out. And basically this is what it's going to look like. 
you can see that. See that? So the bigger one on the bottom, and then on top here is the smaller one, and I got the trans little beads here, and the marquees one right in the middle, and then the two little white ones and the black. And this is what is going to be on all the big skews. So this is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to do this all around and I will see you when I'm done. All right, welcome back everyone. So I did the long skews. And this is basically what it's looking like now. So it's turning out really, really, really nice. So you can see that close, closely. See that? So now all I have left is the small skews. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the square pink ones and the large round acrylic. So I'm going to be using two of these and the big one in the middle. So basically what it's going to look like, and I'm not putting it right at the edge, there's maybe a little, I would say maybe about two centimeters from the top. I will show you that and I'm going to glue it. So I'm going to leave just a little space. that and I'm going to do the other one and then I put the one in the middle so you just center it more or less it's uh, your small skews it's only four and a half inches so you don't really really have to measure you just do it by eye so this is what I'm doing And basically this is what it's going to look like see that you can see the small skew right over here so I'm leaving just a little space here as you can tell just a little space and this is what it's going to look like so I'm going to be doing this all around and it's going to go really really fast the only one that takes you the longest is the long skews uh, that might take maybe half an hour to do that all the way around, which is not too bad once your, your pieces are all cut up and glued. And this one, it doesn't take very, very long. I would say not even 10 minutes, five minutes probably. So I will go all around and I will see you when I'm done. All right, welcome back everyone. So I have finished this project um, and this is basically what it looks like. So uh, in doing the smaller skews, uh, I would say it didn't even take me 10 minutes. So above all, it's not that bad because um, I would say the whole thing in gluing together, putting it all together, it takes approximately me an hour, an hour and 15 minutes tops. So which is not too, too bad, considering this is basically what it looks like. I hope that you guys can see this. And it turned out very, very, very nice. I'm gonna do another one of these. I have, a, uh, I had a lot of people um, asking me to do a video on this and I'm gonna do another one a decor that I did and uh, they were asking me to do a video so this is one I think it turned out really 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 pretty actually pink not too many decors that's pink <laughs> basically this is what it looks like I don't know if you guys can see that from me it turned out really 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 pretty and I'm actually going to do another one of these, but it's going to be a rose gold. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this DIY and please subscribe, give it a thumbs up 
share, put your comments. If I forgot anything or you'd like me to do something else, um, and please subscribe to my channel uh, and hit that bell so you guys don't miss any upcoming videos that I'm going to be doing. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on my next DIY. Thanks everyone and have a great day. Bye for now.